Hi, I'm Allison Meyer, and these are my friends Alexis Cruz, Oh no! and Bailey Mount. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and this is Bad Fan Fiction Fridays, where we aim to bring you the good, the bad, and the ugly of fan fiction. Okay, and we're back for our our ex reader. <laughs> what was that, Bailey? Sorry, I'm reading more of the fic. <laughs> so, that's Sorry. what the noise was. Yeah. Okay. So today we're doing our ex reader fic, and who wants to? Well, <clears throat> Alexis, you kind of already gotten into that whole genre of fic, so yeah. why don't you describe it real quick? So ex reader is literally when. Um, the author allows the reader to be put into the fan fiction as a character. So typically the fic would be written in second person. So all the pronouns would be written as you. So it's like, oh, you ran here, you did this action. Um, Which is and, why I stay very far away from them, because that's fucking weird, man. Yeah, second second person is really weird. Honestly, I don't outside of the fanfic world, I don't think I've ever read anything that was second Me person. Either. What about you, Bailey? Take a break from the what fanfic you, that you're reading. What do you mean? What about me? What about X reader? Yeah, well, no, like, have you read any literature or just do you like the genre? No, I would it entirely. I think second person is very lazy writing because you can't convey scenes well and it upsets me. Oh, true. I feel like then you're not creative enough to make a character. Yeah. Probably. It's super upset. You're letting your reader do all the hard work and that's not why your reader's there. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I mean, yeah. clearly oh. people do like it since there's so goddamn many yeah. of them. There's so many of them. Too many. There's so much going on, man. <laughs> so who wants to go first today? I only have one, so I feel like I should. I'll go first okay. today. <laughs> 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 So the first one I found, I literally just put into Google, I forgot what the name of the genre is, so I put in Reader X Me, and I was like, wait, that's wrong. No. And so, but thankfully, this popped up is uh, a Wolverine fanfic, they call him Logan, oh, and God. it's X Reader, obviously, it's called Pregnant, by Pandalion23, it's on Wattpad. So that's a good sign. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought when I <laughs> I was like, oh, I hope so. But no. Thankfully, they spelled pregnant every time correctly. That's right. Logan had finally did it. He got you pregnant. You now had a baby cooking in the oven. Except it wouldn't be burned alive. Uh, what the? Did you write this? <laughs> Why would I have written it? <laughs> You rubbed your swollen stomach lovingly. Logan was next to you, possessively holding onto you like a lifeline. And then uh, you, you smiled and looked at the time. It was 4.06 a.m. It's very specific. Wow, time does fly, you thought. You then felt a sharp pain below your stomach. Then a warm liquid in between your legs. Oh shit, you thought as your, your stomach started aching. L Logan, huh, honey, wake up, you said, trying to... And th this author is very interesting because they use commas in a really weird way. You said trying to, comma, bear the pain, and they spelled, yeah, bear the pain for the baby. Logan immediately jolted awake and looked at you. He smelled blood, and then he picked you up bridal style. Which is, you know, a thing. That's what you do all the time. It's bridal style. Let's go. He picked, he picked up, comma, a phone as well, comma. You weren't sure how, but he did, and he called Storm. It is time. It's, it's time, is all he said before <laughs> hearing squealing and a deadline. Storm was coming, comma, with lo Rogue, comma, Kitty, comma, Jean. And plenty of other people from the Institute. And then you smile weakly at Logan. It'll be okay. Love you, Wolvie. <laughs> Love you too, kitten. Jess said, holding onto your hand. Uh, he had to let go in order for them to continue their operation and get the baby out. Wait, when did oh, they go to the birth room? When did they? Well, was they, there no scene transition? Oh, yes, there was. Sorry. <laughs> Logan rushed to the hospital and another Xon traction. I think that was supposed to be contraction, but they put an X instead. I just realized that now that's supposed to be contraction instead of Zon traction. I was really trying really hard to figure out what that <laughs> word was. You'd think I would figure out, but no. Passed through as Logan handed you over quite hesitant. Who he handed you over to is beyond me. The void. 
<laughs> to the bulimia. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so then he sits on the waiting room with everybody. But, like, if it's an operation, is she getting a C-section? I what's, don't know. What's happening here? Because they immediately go to, he's sitting in the op, in the, in the room, and after hours of waiting, a doctor came in. Your name. Logan's last name. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Help. What's his last name? The adult group of X-Men stood, and Logan asked, how is she? How is the baby? The doctor smiled. Don't worry, your name is just resting, and you're a father of a beautiful, healthy baby boy. All the girls squealed, and Logan smiled as everyone got out the waiting room to visit you. You were awake and holding a small bundle and a blue blanket. You cooed at the blanket, oh, at the bundle. At the blanket itself. <laughs> and Logan heard a baby giggle, because, you know, you just assume that there's a, you're holding, giggles, that bundle a you're holding is a baby, but whatever. Babies are slept when and the kid's not doing anything besides crying or sleeping. Yeah. His heart jumped and he went into the room. You raise your head and smile tiredly. He's beautiful. You smiled as everyone gathered and looked in awe at the handsome baby. Kitty squealed. He's going to be a real heartbreaker. What? He's you like giggled. Two minutes old. <laughs> <laughs> no! You giggled and everyone mostly agreed. <laughs> Mostly everyone agreed? Everyone mostly agreed. What? Yeah, everyone... so some people didn't. I wonder who didn't agree. <laughs> didn't agree. <laughs> it was Gene. Logan kissed your forehead and you leaned into his side as he held his newborn son. They were parents. I mean, it technically should be you were parents or something like that. And then the next chapter, you realize that you're pregnant again. Because Logan's like, so let's so have another baby. And you're like, I'm already pregnant. And then I, well, I haven't read the third chapter right, yet. Right fast you but babies. something sad's supposed to happen. Uh, oh. Also? Yes. Question, I was thinking about this as soon as you started this fic. Does the baby have little Wolverine claws, too? They don't say. Okay, because I was like, that, the baby could have, like, twilighted her. And, Ouch. Yeah. Like, I want to know if this baby has claws. I don't think so. They don't mention claws in, in the second chapter. There's some, you playing with the baby. The baby? I love you, James. Whoever James is. I think that's the baby. Uh, okay, I love you, James, but you don't have claws. Yeah. And then he was like, maybe we should try for another, he whispered suddenly, and your eyes widened. And then a little bit later on, Logan. And then for some reason they put the, the quote signs so that's separate, so it looks like it's, like, it's like Logan saying that he's the one who's pregnant because <laughs> there's no tagline. Logan, dot, dot, dot. New paragraph, different quotations, I'm pregnant again. So I think so Wolverine's sorry. the one who's pregnant. It's probable. And brag. Uh, and brag. <laughs> but yeah. One baby after another. I mean, apparently you have sex right after, because that's a thing. Yeah. You just right. pop them out. No. Like, once you come back from the hospital, it's just another sex. Let's just do it. I don't think I'm good. <laughs> okay, who wants to go next? Um, I'll go. Okay. So, I have two. Do you want an anime one or a Marvel one first? I want I want the Marvel one first. Okay, so the Marvel one is literally called Avengers X Readers. Oh no. Um, There's more than one reader? Well it's reader apostrophe S. What? Yeah. So they made this one for us. <laughs> oh my goodness. So it's on fanfic.net by Princess Rosaline. Um you go, Princess Rosaline. So it's it's like a multi-chapter one, and it's it's one of those where um, each chapter could be like a different character or scenario with that character. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of there's several Bruce um, Banner ones, aka the Hulk. There's a couple Steve Rogers Captain America ones, Tony Stark Iron Man. There's one Hawkeye, one P, uh, one Quicksilver one, and the to Thor. So, one of the Bruce Banner ones, the first chapter, is called Green Bean. <laughs> he is not a bean. <laughs> Green Bean. Yeah, so, <laughs> this is why it's called Green Bean. So, they are, oh, they're dear. having, like, a play fight, apparently. Um, I could be the Hulk. I have green hair. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so here, here we go. As you walk through the building, looking for both your best friend and crush, you start to worry the worst thing possible. When you take the corner into the living room, you decide to give up on looking and just scream instead. Okay. Bruce, come out! <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, 
Nothing but silence. I guess I'll watch Breaking Bad by myself then. <laughs> you see Bruce poke his head out of his bedroom. If you even try, I'll go all green bean on you. What? You wouldn't dare. Nope. What have you been doing in there anyways? Hiding from you and your fist of fury. Fist of fury. Hey, blame it, it on fury. I know. I yeah. What? Sorry, what? listeners. What? There are people who are watching us. From the other room. (laughs) We're gonna cut that part out. No, we're not. It's staying. (laughs) Yeah, he thinks he's cute. I'm sorry. Yep. (laughs) Nothing but the best for you, (laughs) listeners. Sorry, Alexis. Continue. Oh God. We're okay. Yeah. Hey, blame it on Fury, not me. Well, you're you're as in like the possessive you're, not you are. Oh dear, the, I love grammar. <laughs> the one that told me to turn green. Why never? Why, I Why never? never? Bruce walks out of his room with no shirt on and looking very sexy. <laughs> you couldn't help but stare. Looking very much like Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> <laughs> Half naked Mark Ruffalo. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Social change. <laughs> oh. I can't keep getting this. Wait, but they did it to the kids! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear! I can't What's keep happening? getting away. With not, not <laughs> us. Not me. Not freaking Pope. Oh my god. Anyways, <laughs> see, I was Spotlight. Pope all along. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Looking away from his chest, he decides to focus on his eyes instead. <laughs> oh well, Fury gave me the day off, and I was wondering if he wanted to go out. I'm mean, not as a go out, go out, but as in a go out. Ooh, romantic tension. I'd love to go out on a date with, just let me put on my, a shirt first. <laughs> Why is he not wearing a shirt in the first place? Uh, she wants to go out on a date with his chest. Maybe, maybe he was, he turned with his into, chest hair. Maybe he turned into the green bean before <laughs> meeting she her She actually up. wants to go out with Hulk, not Bruce Banner. Oh my god. I'm so confused. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh my god. Somehow they they ended up like confessing to each other. Senpai, I love you. Yeah. Cherry blossom, cherry blossom. <laughs> he lo- he lodged you between the wall and him even more, so I guess he like covered you. Is well, he like, the Hulk or is like, it Bruce Banner? It's Bruce. <laughs> okay. So he did like the whole spiel where like the girl's on like the brick wall and, and his arms like, are like over her. Oh, he's doing the man. Yeah, the man. Ah, the arm man cage. Thing. Yeah. It's like, no, you can't get away from me now yeah. because of my arms. Yeah, and then you, I guess. Bruce, let me go. Um, and then him replying, I decided we should stay in. What the hell does that mean? I'm glad you asked. And then he kissed you. It wasn't anything special, considering you were pushed against the wall, but at least he finally kissed you. <laughs> well, this sounds like not fun for the reader. <laughs> I'm just like, what's happening? La, la, la. What happened to you, Bruce? He breathed. He breathed. You. <gasps> you. Into your neck. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's not whispering sensually into her chin, okay? Speaking of necks. I can't wait for my next fake, which I have, which I think you're going to enjoy, Bailey. Can I read mine first? Oh. Yeah, totally. Are, we, are you good, Alexis? Are you, still whisper- are you still neck whispering? I mean, they whispered, and then, like, she pushed him off, and then he asked what's wrong, and then she's just like, what changed? And then he's just like, nothing but my feelings for you. I love you, first name. <laughs> well, if that's the case, you take the hem of his shirt and pull him into a long, passionate... I thought he wasn't wearing a shirt. He put one on. He put one on to go on the date. Come on, he's yeah. an animal. That's right. But that's they decided right. to stay in. Um, so he took his shirt back oh off. Oh my god. Yeah. So she yeah. took off his skin shirt. She pulled Stop. the hem, pulled him into a long, comma, and passionate kiss. I love you too, green bean. Oh, you did not. And then that's how it ends. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that was a nightmare. That was, that was beautiful. But just like a quick look into the, the other chapters. Oh, I threw up a little. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Uh, Hawkeye, ex-reader, wake up! Steve Rogers, ex-reader, don't go yet. Tony Stark, ex-reader, snarky with Starky. Yeah. <laughs> and then another Tony one, Jeffrey. Another Tony one, Jeffrey. I don't know, that's the title of the chapter. Jeffrey. 
Avengers X Feeders. I'm assuming all the Avengers. Oh my god. Dress dress shopping. Hawkeye X Reader X Tony Stark Smut. God. Thor X Reader The Evil Fry Pan. Thor X Reader Pop Tart War. Are you sure this isn't like a crack thing? I. There's no intro. There's no give, anything. This has been going on for two years. I gotta give props to the reader because they're making their way through the entire Avengers Tower. Yeah. <laughs> there's. There's only Making nine their way reviews. downtown. <laughs> Walking fast on that piano. <laughs> They're just, like, going through all of these people. Like, seriously. Loki. The go. There was a Loki chapter. Oh, I thought you were saying Loki. There was well, a Loki Loki chapter. Loki? There's a Loki chapter? There's a Loki chapter entitled Mischief. Because that's of fitting. Course. Mischief Manage. And then for some mm. reason, there's two... Pietro ones or like Quicksilver, so it's Pietro X Vader hide and closet, and then real Pietro X Vader hide and closet. So this right. is a fake one. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's uh, this is from fun stuff. Yeah. Okay, Violet. Violet. <laughs> um, mine's called. <laughs> is this one of the Negan ones? Yeah, it is. Uh, so. For those of you who don't watch the show, The Walking Dead, or read the comics, Negan is the most recently introduced in terms of the show. He's the most recently introduced bad guy. He's played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and then he's a very attractive older actor. And uh, Negan's covered in leather, and he has a giant beard when you meet him at first, so people fell for him super hard. And for a while, and for a while I mean for like five months, you couldn't go on the Negan tag on Tumblr without just seeing miles and miles of Negan X reader stuff. <laughs> so, I just felt that would be fitting. Uh, this one is uh, on Archive of Our Own. It's called Black Cupcakes by uh, God damn it. by uh, Negan Sturdy Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they black cupcakes? I'm concerned. I hope it's so food coloring. I. That's what I was... It is food coloring. Okay, thank God. But also, just think about that in your teeth and it's just all... In. I mean, if it's just been... A, uh, as the baker in me, if it's just vanilla, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> So it was written for um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's birthday celebration that was being held on Tumblr. Which Wonderful. Is just mm. to me. Yeah. It's Negan's birthday and you've baked him a batch of cupcakes complete with black as ink icing. When he takes you and a cupcake back to his bedroom, things get sweet and messy. Ooh. So she's wasted all these resources making cupcakes with black icing. We're going to start there. This is the zombie apocalypse and she's a dumbass. So <laughs> she makes him cupcakes and he's super excited about it. And, uh, he starts getting frisky. He trails passionate kisses down your neck, attempting to dive lower into your cleavage. <laughs> ah, 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 you interrupted his plundering. Not yet. Your dirty girl has to get this kitchen cleaned up before we celebrate this bad boy's birthday. It's the apocalypse. It's the apocalypse. Oh, Negan's also the leader of the saviors, so, uh, he has multiple wives, so he gets to live in apocalyptic luxury. But even then, that's not very luxurious. So, they decide to go back to the room and have some, um, hanky-panky. And she's wearing lingerie under her dirty clothes, which... How? Apocalypse? Whatever. And, um, let me see. Yeah. He just starts jacking off. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like he's jacking off. In the corner or something? He just goes and sits down and, oh, wait, sorry, sit on the couch and unzip your pants, birthday boy. And then he just jacks off. And then he just starts jacking off. As she's baking? No, she's done baking. They just left. She's like, Negan, cupcakes. And he's like, oh, okay. But I, I thought she just cupcake. said she needed to clean up the kitchen. She didn't. She forgot she made someone else do it. So is it like mutual <laughs> masturbation or is she just watching him? She's just watching him jack off. Okay. You got down on your knees in front of him. You want me to blow out your candle? Oh, God. Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> he visibly shuddered with pleasure at your suggestion, nodding his head and biting his lower lip. For God's sake. You dragged your finger through the black <laughs> icing on the cupcake and smeared a thick dollop of it onto the head of his tail. No one is clean at this point. That's like acid for like a UTI. Yeah, yeah and then it's gonna stain because it's even if it's food coloring, it's black food coloring. <laughs> Please. It's just uh, so many levels of so, not good. Uh, you know, she uh, she licks off the frosting and she says, "Mmm, you taste so good, Daddy." And then that's when we all get upset. And he takes off her lingerie and she goes, It took you an hour to get ready and it took him less than a second to have you naked. I mean, apocalypse. 
apocalypse. You had used your finger to smear the icing on his naughty bits, but he took the direct route, pressing the top of the cupcake into your nipples. How many <laughs> cupcakes are there? Just one, but how, how much frosting? How? I don't know. Is there like a giant tower of frosting? Jesus! Alexis, you just gotta sit here. He took this cupcake and just mashed it onto <laughs> her boobs. You don't tell a baker this. I'm dying. He wasn't gent. He didn't just be like, oh. They're all wasting. He just took this the whole cupcake and he was like, cupcake. The cupcake should be swished at that point. There should be no substance to that her frosting boobs. anymore. It's the apocalypse. Why aren't they just eating the cupcake? Once again, with a thick coating of black as ink frosting. Maybe this is a commentary on how even though it's the apocalypse, we still have luxury and wastefulness. Oh, mate. This is capitalist. Deep, Hell. deep like the cupcake frosting. Mm. He then dove in for a taste of the sweetness, sucking it off with gusto. Gusto. And then he puts it other places. UTI, buddy. Big ol' UTI. Oh, baby doll, who needs cupcakes when you taste so sweet? I mean, and, uh, but he used the cupcake on her? That's no. Yeah. So, you know, then they decide to do the do, and before they do it, she says that a certain part of her body is his uh, birthday present. Which I don't feel comfortable saying on this podcast. Is that the one you told me about before? Wait, let's let's see. Oh, you can't say. Th- oh, I mean, we said. You, you know, want to say? Just it? say lady part. My lady part be your birthday present. Yeah. The other word for a cat. My cat is your birthday present. <laughs> my cat, my kitty, kitty, kitty meow meow, meow. <laughs> is your present. And uh, then they do a porn thing, and he comes on her. Oh, the cum shot. Yeah. The money shot. Yeah. Yeah. Money. And then he mentions his dead wife. Oh, okay. That's, That's fine. Oh, here we go. A single tear rolled down his rough cheek and you kissed it away. Few people since the apocalypse had ever seen him this vulnerable and you felt fortunate that he let you get this close. You were tempted to say those three little words, but you knew it was much too soon and he may never let you get that close. Just knowing he was happy tonight would have to be enough. <laughs> apocalypse. 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 Wasteful apocalypse cupcake baking. The epilogue is her dealing with the goddamn UTI. And trying to figure out where the rest of the cupcakes went and everyone going, why are you making cupcakes when we're literally fighting for food? <laughs> Waste! Waste! That's the real reason the all-out war started. Oh my god. I gotta go bake those fucking cupcakes. <laughs> Would you bake cupcakes during an apocalypse, Alexis? No! <laughs> Shit! No. Make bread! Make bread! You can survive on bread, not cupcakes! Especially with a UTI. <laughs> they're gonna find the medicine for the UTI. They're, they're, they're not gonna find it. I would rather she just die like... <laughs> no, that girl with the UTI <laughs> yeah, and Berserk did not die. die. What girl with the UTI and Berserk? That's a different story. Is that a UTI and Berserk? She had like... She had either an STI or, or a UTI. One of those. Oh, like, oh, no, no, no. She had she had an STI. Okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Why didn't, we, why didn't we read any Berserk fanfiction? Because that's sad. <laughs> Not all of it's sad. There's happy AUs and we can ignore it. Speaking of anime, you have an anime I fan, do. Alexis. And its summary has an entire key. What? Like. Oh, that's right. You told me. Yeah. What? So, okay. why? <laughs> okay, so this fanfic is a Tokyo Ghoul one. Oh dear. Um, and Tokyo Ghoul is like a kind of thriller manga anime series. That's apparently, from what I've heard, it's really sad and kind of really gory and centipedes it's, in it's, your ears. Oh, that was like first season, yeah. Like, it's, it's kind of gory, but not like extreme. Not as much as I thought it would be. Um, but it's actually really good. But anyways, to, ex- um, to explain what a ghoul is, because there's background to what a ghoul is. So a ghoul is someone that appears human, both uh, outside like the physical looks and inside, so all their organs are the same. However, um, there are a carnivorous and cannibalistic species that is only able to feed on humans and other ghouls. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, so yeah, they can only eat humans and sometimes other ghouls, but in the series they describe self-cannibalism, so eating other ghouls is really gross, because it tastes weird. Yeah. But, um, outside of that, they could only drink water and coffee. And then, the reason why they can't eat normal human food is because they have certain enzymes Uh, in their stomach that can't digest it. Gotcha. So there's, like, a a strange science to what a ghoul is. Um, Weird science. They're also, like, freakishly strong, and they have, um, ghoul organs, like a specific organ that um, 
produces like a weapon like a uh, body part like an appendix yeah that comes out of their back so there's four different i wish my appendix could come out of my back <laughs> but they have throw it at people? <laughs> yeah. yeah they have like four different just um, slap people around with my appendix they have four different like weapons or yeah bodily weapons they're called uh uh kagunes so the four types are ukaku which comes out of your upper back and it's called the shining feather so it looks like it looks like wings, but it could throw crystals at you. Ooh, uh, crystals. Kokaku, the shining shell. So that comes out of your shoulder blade, and that could act as a shield and like a weird sword. Ooh, weird swords. And then Rinkaku is the shining scales. So those are the tentacles Ooh. that come out of your back. Uh. Um, tentacles. And then Bikaku, which is a tail, and it could just like stab people and all that stuff. All that really fun stuff. So yeah, that's Tokyo Ghoul, the basics of what a ghoul is. And this one is a Kaneki X Reader um, series. He's the main person. Yeah, Kaneki's the main person. He always wears an eye patch because he's only a half ghoul. Because he's special. He's well, a special snowflake. I mean, he's only a half because he got into a freak accident and then they put ghoul organs in him. What the f- Yeah. That it, it was like he a missing an eye? No, he's not missing an eye, but because he's half ghoul, it's like only the ghoul eye is like in one eye for some reason. I don't know why. It's like red or something, right? Yeah, I don't know why how that works. But anyways, this this person had to lay down a key so that the reader could understand what she means when she's pointing towards what the reader wants out of that character. So KG is Kagune, so all those like weapon organs I just described. HC is hair color. HL is hair length. EC is eye color. And then gender, gender of choice. So, you know, it's pretty inclusive. <laughs> uh, FN, first name. LN, last name. And then she puts in all the requests slash uh, one shots that she will be writing. So it's Kaneki X Ghoul Reader, Kaneki X One Eye Ghoul Reader, Kaneki X Neko Reader. <laughs> Neko Reader, no! Yeah, so a Neko is a, per- a, a person. A person with cat parts. With cat parts. Usually, like, the ear and tail. Tail, and then they, they talk like a cat, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. And then Kanki X Human Reader. Kanki X Avian Reader. I don't know what that's going to mean. Like, like a bird? Bird parts? Probably bird parts. Like you lay an egg. Kanki X Child Reader. No! Yeah. So far, there's only two chapters, and it's the ghoul one and the one eye ghoul one. Okay. But, yeah, it's... So why is it so bad out of the fact that it's bad by just its premise of being a ex-reader fic? Um, besides the avian and the child? Besides that, since they haven't actually written those parts yet. Yeah, they haven't written those avian parts yet. Avian child. <laughs> there's, Bird child. There's random time skips that make no sense. Go for it. Oh my god. So, it starts off with, like, the reader killing a couple so she could eat them. Yum. Wow. And then there's like a boy in the alleyway too, and she could smell that he's because go- they could smell each other. But like I can smell you, yeah. Kaylee. She she could smell that he's a ghoul, so she's like, hey, do you want this this body? And then she like throws it at him. Yeah. And then he like freaks out, and then she she like hears someone for some reason. She like she hears someone else on the rooftop. And she's like, oh no, I gotta run. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Or well, because I am fast. Um, Ow. <laughs> the, actually, the quote is, you suddenly felt as if someone was watching you. You quickly look up and start to look around. <laughs> Whoever you are, come out. You yell in the alley. No one replies, so you thought it was safer to run. And so you ran and ran for your life. I'm running for my life. Time skip to the next day by a very confused reader, XD. <laughs> XD. That's smiley face. That one excited smiley face. And then this whole paragraph is a lot of, like, the reader thinking. And she ends up at a cafe, and she ends up finding the boy. The, the ghoul boy. boy. The ghoul boy. The ghoul boy. And literally her thought was, that, is, that boy is the boy I ran into in the alleyway. You began to freak out. Your heart beating faster and louder that you could have, could have sworn everyone could hear it and your palms were becoming damp as you feel cold sweat running down your face 
Mom, spaghetti. Yeah. The boy was staring at you too. The boy was staring at you too, blushing slightly. There's no comma in there. Grandma! The boy was staring at you too, blushing slightly. Ha! Huh? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, she's in the cafe. She gets coffee. Um, the boy you ran into the alleyway then walks to you and sits at the table. OMFG, he's coming over here! That's a thought. <laughs> Instinctively, you look at your coffee. Hi, I'm Kaneki Ken. Lower voice into a whisper. Thanks for trying to help me the other day, Kaneki says. <laughs> I'm having my immortal flashbacks. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. You reply, trying to make your voice sound strong and not scared. You don't need to be afraid, Kaneki says, getting up and puts his hand on your chin, pushing it up so that you can look at him. <laughs> He then lets go of your chin and sits back down. Yeah, about that. Dot, 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 dot. I think you're cute. And you're as in, like, possessive you're, not you are. You grab your coffee and chug it, although it was hot, and ran out the door as fast as you can. New. Bailey, can you do that? I know you love coffee. <laughs> I can't. No. The coffee The coffee is too hot. I must wait until it is room temperature, so I would have left my coffee. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> like so hot. it's hot, you fry hot, an egg. hot. Oh, my God. Just run out with the mug clammed in your teeth. Nah, she just <laughs> chugged the mug. <laughs> she chugged the whole mug, put it back down, and just ran. She ate the fucking mug <laughs> and ran. Yeah. Somehow, okay, another time skip to the next day. They meet up in a park somewhere. And then, uh, yeah, the sun was a beautiful golden red color. Once you guys sat down. Isn't this pretty? Kaneki asked you. Yeah, you reply looking at the sunset, then looked at Kaneki. You and Kaneki stared at each other, not knowing what to say. You two leaned closer to each other, then da 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 kissed. <laughs> it lasted about fifty seconds. Wow. Before both you and Kaneki parted. Kaneki was blushing, but you were too. Um, do you want to you know, looks away, go out with me? <laughs> Kaneki asked embarrassed. Sure, I'd love to. You have you reply happily. Kaneki then looked at you and kissed you again, but it was more passionately. I'll take his note, done. Then Dumbledore bursts in. What the fuck do you think you're doing, you horny simpleton? <laughs> I'm just like, this happened in like two days and all of it because she like threw a body at him and ran away? <laughs> is, is, is that not true love? <laughs> Throw a body at somebody? And... <laughs> <laughs> Here's your meal. Hello, hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Here's a body. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god. So yeah, that was a nightmare. And then the second chapter, she didn't even finish the second chapter, but she published it anyways. Oh. That's fun. That takes dedication. Yeah. That takes confidence. Lots of confidence. More confidence than I have. <laughs> but yeah, the summary of it was, so you as the reader, you got attacked by a ghoul, and then a wall fell down on you, and you thought <laughs> you died. You <laughs> died. That's it. That's the entire fic. <laughs> and then a time skip to five months later, you wake up in a hospital. Oh, because you were in a coma. And then, uh... The door opens, revealing a doctor and a nurse with food. The doctor walks next to your bed and eyes you for a moment. How are you feeling, first name? The doctor asks, sitting in a chair next to you. You look at him and blink as if you don't understand her. Because you don't. Fine, you reply in a quiet, hoarse voice. The nurse... <laughs> the nurse then raises the top half of your bed, you? then places food on your lap and leaves. You don't feel strange or different, the doctor asks, as you stare at your food. No, you lie. Okay, well, I'm heading out. Press the green button, blah, 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 blah. You look at your food and watches the channel the TV was put on. Oh, there's a, I'm running out on what to write. Sorry, guys. And that's the end. Oh. So really, I mean, a wall got dropped on you. You were in a coma. The end. I mean... You didn't eat your goddamn food. You didn't eat your goddamn food. Fucking wasteful. Ah, the guy you were in love with, he's gone now. <laughs> I mean, this is like the, the chapter where you're like the one-eyed ghoul. So I'm assuming, and I feel like this is one of those chapters where you, you can only understand it if you watch the series. So I'm assuming like ghoul organs got put into her and that's why she can't eat the food. Bodies hit the floor. Yeah, her body hit the floor because a wall hit her. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's... Yeah. How to get your senpai to fall in love with you. And to throw a body at him. Throw a body at him. Drop a wall on him. Drop a wall on him. Chug some coffee. Hot ass coffee. And run, run away. away. Eat the mug. <sighs> on a complete sidebar, I think it's really interesting that most of these are like 
most of them are meant for like women because like most most ships are like yeah. gay ships but then when it comes to reader x reader it's all women like they all make the reader a woman i mean surprisingly this one was like inclusive because it just put gender true yeah but like <laughs> I think it's just coming back full circle to our first episode when we were talking about how the people who started writing fanfic were women and the majority of people who write them usually are women. True. We mm. run the fanfic world. We run the world, girls. The readers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this one's a fun one that I have. <clears throat> it's an Undertale fic. No. Yes. No. It's uh, Sans X Reader. No. The title is Teasing. By Fly High Five Three Two Three, it's on Deviant Art. Oh <laughs> wow! You uh, really went in there. <laughs> well, I, I googled it, so I just gave me. I just took what Google gave me. You really went in there. I just I went for it. So the warning is: please don't read if you're not okay with these kind of themes. I don't recommend if you are uncomfortable or young. Are you uncomfortable, Bailey? I have a question. What's your question? Sounds gonna have an ecto dick in this. There are no ecto dicks in this. Why are they called teasing? <laughs> oh, is it the next I promise there will be another X reader that will not have mature themes next time. In all caps, you have been warned! Okay. If he doesn't have an ecto dick, what does he have? What kind of dick does he have? Bailey, stop! <laughs> Read, Read it, go! <laughs> you watched the big bone skeleton surf <laughs> surfing through channels. His eyes were slowly closing, tired from his various works. He reminds you of a cat, tired from playing and sleep beginning the only thing on his mind. He on finally signing on a new episode of Metaton Dancing since that was the only thing on TV. Today Papyrus was on a play date, for some reason that's in quotation marks, with Metaton and won't be ho coming home until late. Frisk was sleeping over at Toriel's today and Undyne and Alfie's is on a date today. Asgore, he was just plain boring to talk to. Mm -hmm. The other royal guards pissed you off and the little monster was sleeping by now. You so you were entire you were entirely bored and the only thing that can entertain you right now was the sleepy Sans. Sans, I'm bored. You groaned, poking Sans with your foot. After a few moments of waiting, you heard Sans snoring softly. Sans, you said, shaking the skeleton, trying to wake him up. Yeah, kiddo, Sans said, which is weird because he calls you kiddo. Uh, said mumbling his eyes still closed you sighed but then all of a sudden you got the best idea but you had to be careful because cats may at first take their owners bugging them but at, later they'll attack them what? so is it implying that you're are you a cat are you sans i right? think sans they're using a cat a metaphor? Metaphor. Cat metaphor it's a metaphor so you, you put the thing that kills you between your teeth but you don't let it kill you <laughs> Sansy whispered you knew Sans was sleeping, but he was still conscious of his surroundings. You grinned. Just perfect. You slowly inched towards him, not wanting to wake him up. You wrapped your arms around his waist, which is really ridiculous because he doesn't have a waist. Around his bones. His bones. You slowly inched towards him. Uh, yeah. And then you placed your head under his chin, which is also bone. bone <laughs> rubbing your noses. I guess you he have more than one nose. Maybe you just shoved the no your nose in his nose hole. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Lightly on the bone, tickling sons. Your moist, warm breath sent a sets of a sets of tingling sensation in him. In his bones. And then bone juice. there's a blank dash blank. So I think that's supposed to be like he's stuttering your name or something. I don't know. Sans groaned. You tried your best to hide your growing grim and mustered your best innocent face. What is it, Sans? You asked, enjoying the large blush. Again, he's a skeleton. He can't blush. Growing on his face. N nothing, Sans said. You chuckled into his ear, sending another set of tingles. Into his ear. He doesn't have ears! <laughs> the guy stayed like that for a few minutes. You smiled happily and Sans stiff as a car. Because he's a fucking skeleton of course he's stiff as a cardboard hmm he's stiff as a cardboard <laughs> maybe this cat can take some more poking around you wondered sans i'm really bored you whispered with your best seductive voice into his ear i really oh. want to play a game you said kissing his neck is this song his neck bone his <laughs> neck bone yeah i really want to play a game i really want to play a game you, so you're kissing his spine oh god <laughs> <laughs> Slowly working up to his chin before you continue to talk. Uh, 
a game? Sans asks, tilting his head up, enjoying your soft, warm lips. Yeah, a game where we can indulge ourselves in, you said, turning his head to face you. Just literally turn his skeleton head. Just break his neck. Turn his <laughs> <laughs> Just exorist. Whoosh. Where you place the sweet kiss. A game of, you said. Sans gulped. Se, you said. S, se. San said, feeling hot. Again, he's he's a skeleton. He he doesn't have he a circulatory nervous. system. I mean, he's maybe he's blushing in his mind. S, bring, bring. Be right back, you said, removing yourselves from Sans to his disappointment as you were going upstairs to get the phone. You could hear Sans groaning. And then this next oh. part makes absolutely no sense. Hello? Pappy, what's up? Why I'm at the phone just because Nod haven't done anything too big yet, Metaton. Yeah, okay, I'll tell him. Puff, 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 puff. Nah, I'm not gonna do anything too big. Yeah, yeah, I know not on the sofa. Gotta go, I think he's suffering a bit right now. Bye. Click. Oh, no. Who was it? Sans yelled from the living room. Pappy and Meta, you said, walking down the stairs. Sans eyes, you're on your every movement. They said they're gonna go watch a movie, so you said, caressing his cheekbones. Well, I got it right this time. There you go. That's that's progress. You could tell he was leaning into your touch. We have some time for our game, you said, straddling him. You wrapped your arms around his neck and kissed his forehead. Well, he technically does have a forehead. He does have a forehead. Yeah. His bonehead. <laughs> your bonehead. <laughs> so what is this game, Sod said, trying to hide his excitement. Oh, I'm sorry, let's play a game of... You said pausing. Of, Son said, getting tired of waiting. I'm getting tired of waiting. Seagulls, you said. Son smiled, dropped. Seagulls, yeah, seagulls. Remember, we used to play a game called Seagulls when we were younger, because apparently we've known him for a long time. I don't know. You said you tried your best not to burst out laughing, because you are so funny. Is she going to poke him in the coconut? <laughs> poke him in and the they coconut. Did. They and did. that child had a log. The um, child had a vlog. <laughs> I love that child. The child had a full vlog. <laughs> Was it a poop <laughs> show? <laughs> you mean a poop I know how this long goes. I got it wrong. I'm sorry. You gotta skip to the boning. <laughs> Bone juice. God damn it, Bailey. <laughs> Son smirked, a blue light flashing in his eyes, setting shivers down your spine. What about a different game? Son said, grabbing your arm and pulling you down onto the couch, both of his hands beside your face. Ow, oh, that hurt, you said, desperately trying to find an escape. But you knew Sans wasn't gonna try, wasn't gonna let you. I don't like to be teased, Sans whispered into your ear. T teasing? I, I wasn't t teasing, you said. Sans smirked widen, smirk widen. You're so cute and you're flustered, Sans said, caressing your flushed cheeks. No. Oh, but now that I think about you wanted to play seagulls, right? I. You said, really not wanting to admit defeat, but dot, 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 dot. I won't understand until you tell me, Sans said, lightly brushing your lips. So, Sans, I, I want to play a different game now. You whimpered, not being able to take it anymore. Oh my god. Dot, dot, mm. dot, dot, dot. Sans, Z, 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 emoji face. You gotta be kidding me. Sans fell asleep. Dot, 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 dot. You sighed and somehow got out of his hold. You sighed, walking to the door. You took off, you took your coat off the hanger and put it on. One last glance at Sans, who was still in the same position. You walked upstairs and got him a blanket and drifted over him. Idiot, I'm going home, you whispered before walking back home. When you opened the door, the chilly air snowed and smacked you in the face. You sighed and started walking back home. Dot, dot, dot. Now that you think about it, cats will go to sleep. Will still go to sleep, whether their owners are bugging them or not. You giggled. I guess you were the one that got teased in the end. Oh, Sans. Sans. God, you rascal. He, he's, he's had a sad time. He had a bad time. But yeah, that was it. I was expecting more to happen. Me too. And then nothing happened. I was kind of feeling a little let down. They think that's mature content? Ooh, yeah. Buddy, can we send them the Ooh, cupcakes? Buddy. <laughs> no. Speaking of cupcakes, like I just thought about it, it's an apocalypse. How did she find food coloring? I don't That's know. That's a good question. I'm just like, that, that like hit me. Maybe they just 
scrape like the grime well, off their mold. own teeth. Yeah, maybe it's just mold. Well, also the saviors they steal from all of the other people because if they don't, they kill them. So they have a bunch but of who's stuff. Who's gonna get food coloring? I'm gonna get food coloring. Negan's gonna go. My wife wants to make me birthday sex cupcakes. Give me food coloring, and if you don't, I'll kill you. They should just eaten the freaking cupcake. Nope. I mean, it got smushed on her boobs with the frosting. That's not the same thing. I don't even think it was the cake, though. I think he just had all this frosting on the cupcake, and he was like, "Pa!" But like, pa! Pa! like if it's like enough. It's like when you cake someone in the face just on your nip nubs. Yeah, the <laughs> cake nip-nap. breaks apart too when you cake someone in the face. It's just something tells me they rolled in it probably. Yeah, oh, I think God. they rolled in the cake. Mm-hmm. You don't want to get cake in your butthole. <laughs> That just is uncomfortable. There might be think. a river somewhere where they could like, I like how you wash their sink at the end of it. <laughs> well, I'm not speaking from experience, <laughs> Bailey. I promise you that. <laughs> Have you rolled in cake? Mm. Uh. Do you even just ew? <laughs> Who wants to clean up that mess? Probably one of Negan's other wives. They're gonna make Eugene do it. <laughs> So I think one of the best parts of this fic is the fact that this author honestly thinks what they wrote is like super mature content because they put all these like emojis and stuff with like the blushing faces instead. Oh, it's ugly. I know, right? Maybe they are the young. I'm sorry. Maybe they are the young. Like this kind of stuff. This is the first time I wrote something like this. Blushy face. I'm so sorry you guys don't like these kinds of stuff. Sort of bowed head. But hey, at least it's not a feels fanfic wiping perspiration off their forehead. I'm not going to write any lemons because, well, if you can't tell, I'm not really good at this kind of stuff. Scratching the ground. Wow, this feels awkward. Wiping perspiration off their face again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Art does not belong to me, so credits to the awesome artist. Don't steal art, guys. Don't. <laughs> Bailey. So hold on, I'm just picturing he nods up from Naruto doing it. Uh, no, first time. Naruto. I'm writing this. If yeah. anyone wrote friend fiction in the Hidden Leaf Village, it was probably Hinata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Like it been Hino. Oh, and Sakura. They probably had like a fanfic club going. Oh my god. That's actually probably. I feel like I read a fic like that where like they. <gasps> oh my god. The I think club. I actually read a fic like that. Oh. Where like they tied up Naruto to a chair the because man. all the girls were angry at him for dating Sasuke. And they're all like in this club, a Naruto haters club. It was weird. Was it a fanfic on that? Yeah. yeah, I read that too! <laughs> I remember that! It was wild! Oh my god! Fanfic is what brings <laughs> us together! It was meant to be! God, that's... Bailey, why are you holding your head in your hands? Are you ashamed of us? We're the fanfic club. We are the- <gasps> We are the fanfic club! I ain't writing that anymore though, that's you too, you guys write. I'm not writing anymore. I stopped writing. You write. <laughs> Leave me alone. I have taken a very long hiatus. Everyone hates me, but it's okay. I, I haven't written stuff in like months because I'm lazy and it's a lot of effort. And I have like real life people to talk to now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sad person. Oh I'm God. sorry. But, anyways, that was fun. Yeah. That was fun stuff. Anyways, I guess we'll see you on the flip side, guys. Bye! Thank you for listening to Bad Fan Fiction Fridays. To listen to more episodes, check us out on iTunes or any of your favorite podcast apps. As the title says, this podcast updates every Friday during the semester. Our multimedia manager is Allison Meyer. Music in this episode is from the YouTube Audio Library. This has been a Union Weekly production. Please follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Union Weekly.